So I'm on my way to the doctor where I get to mask up and go in for my every six month blood work and stuff because I have one of those lovely autoimmune diseases. So that's so far going to be my morning. that I went to the doctor yesterday and that's normal for me I go every six months um, for blood work and checkup and um, but I had a couple of other things I've been having some chest pain and I wanted to bring that up with him um, I have a ginormous mole on the back of my leg that has been there for years but I caught it on something earlier this week and kind of tore it <coughs> a little bit and I really wanted him to take a look at that and see if maybe we could get that off of there and then I've been dealing with something below my knee that I also needed him to look at so um First and foremost, we walked in and my blood pressure was really low, so um, I don't know what to say. I take all kinds of heart medications, so I don't know if it's that or what. I was actually worried about it being high, and so I was really shocked when it was as low as it was. Um, and then the chest pain is because I have pulled the muscle away from the sternum and so now I'm on a resting protocol where I have to rest it and not lift anything heavy and you know all the yada yada just stuff so I'm trying to do that which is not that hard only because it really hurts <laughs> and so I'm okay when I feel the pain. I'm like, nope, not doing that. Um, he immediately looked at the mole on the back of my leg and went, oh, that needs to come off of there. So we're going back on Monday to get that chopped off. And then the thing under my knee, honestly, I haven't wanted to go to the doctor for that because... It just has worried me and you know if you don't know then you don't know so but I did bring it up and he said yeah that's a cyst um, I don't think it's cancerous and then he said some other reasons why he thinks that but I honestly didn't hear him because I was stuck on that's a cyst even though that's what I thought it was hearing it come out of his mouth felt really yucky and so I kind of stopped listening to him at that point <laughs> makes me sound like such a baby I'm really not I'm like I'm yeah but anyway I'll see him again on Monday so maybe we can talk a little more in depth about what's going on there um So, I think daughter number four is coming over for a visit today. She's got some clothes to pick up and some vegetables I'm going to send home with her and, and stuff. Um, and I'm not going to be doing a whole lot. So, in fact, I'm not even doing the grocery pickup because that requires driving and 
turning and twisting, you know, your body to look behind you and all of that. And right now, ouch. So Mark's going to do that tomorrow. Um, other than that, I'll probably walk out into the garden and take a quick peek. And But we got some rain yesterday. It rained an inch and a half. So I, I will have to water at least the cucumbers and the melons because it's been so hot. Um, our heat indexes have been well over 100 for at least a week now. And uh, I'm kind of over it, to be honest with you. I had my first thought the other day of looking forward to the fall. Now, when I say the fall, I don't mean, you know, November. I'm talking about, like, late September where it just pulls off enough that it's still warm, but it's comfortable. Um, so I'm looking forward to that now. So, if you don't see a video for a day or so, it's because I'm not doing anything. <laughs> oh boy, you know what? This would be a great time to do a family history video, so that's probably what I'll... I'll be doing soon. Until next time.